Despite the cold temperatures this morning, a local college football team was on the field for the start of their spring practice. Fox 56 sports director Bob by joined them as the Cougars got down to business. Transitioning to a new coach is never easy, but when that person has been around the program for a few years, that move is made easier. That's the case for the new football coach at Misericordia University. Oh, everybody trusts Cotto. He's been here. He's been here since day one. He's been through the bad. He's been through the good. You know, everybody trusts him. And and when 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 we when, when we figured out that he was going to be the head coach, mm -hmm. nobody was surprised. As a defensive coach, more defensive focus mm -hmm. now. You know, like seeing how things go, bringing new energy, all that. He says left has been finished the vision. Coach came in with a, a vision of the program and where we wanted to get to and go compete for max championships. My biggest thing right now is keeping us all on the path to get there. I like where we've been coming. We've had 772 freshmen and sophomore on the team last year, but I'm excited. We've been feeling like we've recruited well the last few years. We were excited about the recruiting class, and that was a big thing with us, keeping those guys intact. We didn't. We lost maybe two in the process of the changeover, keeping those guys intact and, and keep moving the program forward. That progress includes a new offensive coordinator, which means even on a cold March morning at 6 a.m., getting work in spring practice is even more important. They were here to work. Um, you know, good teams get up early, and and when uh, we were supposed to be here for six, and you know, the quarterbacks, uh, the quarterback said, "Get here for 5:30." That's the mentality we want to have. We want to have the mentality that, you know, we're going to be up early working hard and getting better. Well, right now it's a big mental game. New office coordinator, you know, uh, new coaching staff, just gotta, gotta keep working, get the mental part right. And then just, uh, it's a lot of young guys coming in. You know, we lost a lot of seniors last year, and uh, these young guys just need to get better. They need the reps, and as simple as that, just get reps and keep working. It's not gonna happen overnight, but just establishing the, the culture, culture, the temp, tempo that we wanna run with, and the and more of the intensity. Um, I'm excited, these guys, both of them coming from a long way. One came from Maine, one came from uh, out towards Pittsburgh, so like, the fact that they were able to get here, the guys came out last night, met with them. You know, we were up here first thing in the morning. So I'm excited to see how these guys grow throughout the spring ball and then lead into the to the uh, fall. When Mr. Cornea wraps up spring practice at the end of April, they'll then focus on improving on a four and six record from last season. Regular season practice gets underway in August and there's enthusiasm around this program. I'd like to see us start off a little better. Last year we started off 0-3 and, you know, just was a bad way to start the season overall. And I feel like we picked it up a lot in the end of the year. Even like even the games, a couple games we lost in the back half, they were real close games and we just couldn't get it done. So hopefully we can start off on a better note this year and carry that through the rest of the year. Bob Eide, Fox 56 Sports. Misericordia will open the regular season September 7th at home against Keystone College. I'm Kayla Gaskins in Washington. Coming up, we look at the pet political projects tucked into the $1.2 trillion spending bill and why these upset the